Family and friends came together tonight to remember nine year old Amari Lockett, who was killed in a fire that ripped through his family's West Toledo home early on Friday morning, Christmas Eve. Our Michael Tater joins them as they said goodbye. Well, Tatiana, it was a cold night tonight and the day after the Christmas holiday, but that didn't stop dozens of people from coming out here to Fernwood for a candlelight vigil in honor of who family called an angel. Nine-year-old Amare Lockett, gone way too soon. Nine years old, he didn't have a scar on his record. He is serving God at his side. Amari's grandfather, Mark Lockett, says they're all feeling the loss right now. Surrounded by dozens of people, they honored Amari's life, placing candles, teddy bears, and his favorite toys at the home. Very energetic. Everybody knew exactly who Amari was when they came like from the time he was born until the time he passed. And he was a little old man. <laughs> yes, very much. <laughs> he was a little old man. Lockett says God protected his family. We had a whole family in that house. Six people were inside, five got and out. He took the one angel. Blessed that the rest are still we here. We could have been here talking about all of them. Yeah. Everyone got out the house their own way, but 19 year old Lemanuel Lawrence, who just got out of the hospital with burns, saved his younger family member by kicking down a door to escape. They had rooms in the basement, um, so they were down there like sleep and they woke up to smoke and they couldn't see so he just kept pushing and pushing like you got to get out of here. The family lost everything in the fire but are glad they have each other and now an angel watching over them. And, and this is all for Amari. In West Toledo. We love you Amari. Michael Tater, WTOL 11. Prayer for that family. Now, two family members are still in the hospital, but they are going to be okay. There's a GoFundMe going online right now, and family members are asking for donations of clothing, toiletries, household items, and anything else. We have information on our website about how you can help them out if you feel like it. They're at WTOL.com.